Look at that. Can we shoot through there? <laughs> the answer is yes, we can. Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming, and this is the Wasteland Survival Series, where we play this game on insane difficulty. The zombies are all set to nightmare speed, and we play on a map that is almost entirely made up of the wasteland biome generated by the nitrogen world generator. But if you did not see the last episode, we found the one and the only very small <laughs> green biome. Um, that's the only green bomb in the whole place. Everything else in this world is wasteland. So, uh, yeah, so we just found this in the last episode. Very, very, uh, stoked that we found it. <clears throat> and, uh, so what we're going to do in this episode is we're going to uncover the rest of the town and just kind of explore it a little bit and see if we can find the traitor, uh, because there's supposed to be a traitor in this town as well. So we can start doing, uh, you know, missions for the traitor. And then, um, I need to decide after that where we're going to uh build our base okay so that's what we have in store if you guys enjoy this episode let's get started here so i decided to um after i left you in the last episode i decided just to go ahead and afk on top of the roof until uh the morning i had a couple other um in real life things to do anyway so i just did that and so now it's uh it's about 4 30 in the morning and um yeah so i didn't do anything last night but let's go ahead and get started and uh, check out this town so we got Oh shit, is that a biker? I don't really want to mess with him. I think we'll be okay though. Alright, so we need to go this way. Is that the, uh... Is that the house that has, like, the big, ginormous underground, uh... Uh, you know, like, um, laboratory kind of thing, my doodle? Kind of looks like it. And when you, uh, when you come out at the very end, it comes out underneath the porch. Yep, this is the place. <laughs> Check that out. Wow, okay, that's going to be... That's an episode or two in and of itself. Kind of cool that that's there, though. Um, we'll probably plan on, on doing that at some point. Um, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, this is the house that's on top of the mountain in Navisgain, in the in the Navisgain map. And there there is a huge underground laboratory <clears throat> that suggests, you know, that there was some... Uh, unethical biological experimentation going on <laughs> uh, underneath that and it's uh, it's pretty crazy so yeah we'll, we'll do that at some point anyway um all right let's go see what we got going on here so we want to get the town uncovered figure out what's here and find the uh find the trader it's kind of late at night i'm a little bit tired today but I got a kind of got a late start, but I wanted to get this episode out for you guys for Friday. So bear with me if I seem a little bit uh, out of sorts. I'm just tired. Excuse me for Yada too. Yeah, there, <laughs> there's not much to this green bow. It's pretty damn small, isn't it? That's okay though. That's okay. At least it's a green biome. So we, we've. <laughs> <laughs> We've already got through town. Okay, let's go uncover this little patch over here. Oh, there's the trader right there. Awesome. Okay. Fan freaking tastic. Uh, he's not actually not open yet. Okay, so let's just uncover the rest of the quote unquote fog of war. <laughs> and then uh, we'll go say hello to the trader at 6 a.m. ish. Is this... It look. This looks kind of like the old, you know, the old cave, except for I don't see the cave itself. It's just a big thing of water. There's a, there is a backpack down there. Okay. That backpack's probably got, like, something stupid in it. Like an empty can. 
or an empty jar or something like that. Okay, so yeah, there <laughs> there really is not much to this place, is there? I mean, you know, compared to what you normally would see. But you know what? It's got uh, it's got some pretty decent POIs from what I've seen so far. So hopefully most of the trader quests will stay in this green biome and not go out into the wasteland, but I'm not necessarily counting on that. Oh man, excuse me guys. Man, it's hard. Okay, we got a Joey's used cars here. There's a wolf. Carl's cars, so lots of cars to, uh, uh, to wrench. Not that we've had a shortage of those. Okay, that pretty much uncovers the rest of the town. There's a little spot, um, over off to the right here that we didn't uncover. I mean, we don't really need to, per se, but... I don't know, just just for completion, you could. But um, I mean, there you know, there's a decent number of POIs here for for it being such a small area. So plenty for us to do, and we'll just um, you know, we'll do the trader quests, and we might just do some random looting too. There's a workbench. And what if that workbench actually works? Oh shit. Hey, 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 hey! Lady! Goodness. The roads are all kind of overgrown with grass, I've noticed. That's kind of interesting. You don't usually see that in vanilla. I wonder if that's just a nitrogen thing or something. I don't mind it. it it's kind of fitting, you know, for the apocalypse. Hey, hey. Knock it out. Ow. These Zika Ruskies are really uh, being a pain in the ass. I wonder if we can get, get down far enough to get them to stop and then we can snipe them. There we go. Alright, let's show them what for. Where's my uh, sniper rifle? Whoops, she's still coming. I got her, but uh We got stripper there too. You know what though? We're actually really low on uh seven six twos. Whoops. Might have been a perfect shot. There we go. Off of their head. Uh, all right, let's go see if that if that workbench works. Um, and then we'll, we're going to go back over to the trader because the trader's open now, or will be in like three minutes, in-game minutes. And actually, you know, the trader might actually have uh, some working workstations too, which would be nice. I mean, we can make all the stuff we need, but if uh, if we can find something that that works off the bat. I might be able to make use of that. Let's get these reloaded. Oh, nice find. We could uh, repair that sucker up and make some bank off of it. Let's we'll get the gasoline out of there. All right, let's not worry about the rest of this place. Okay, let's go back to the trader. Um, where is the trader again? That was, um, that was the log cabin trader, too. So there's going to be a couple of munitions crates there that we can loot. Why does that house have a, some smashed cars in the driveway? It's a little suspicious, isn't it? Well, we got a nice uh, 
fairly large spread out area of forest land out here that we could potentially build our base at if we wanted to. Keep that in mind. I kind of have it in my mind that I'm actually going to build a base from scratch as opposed to, uh, you know, taking over a POI. I haven't really decided that yet, though. We'll see. Alright, so that's our trader. Let's just go ahead and mark it. The only trader in this whole entire map. But hey, we found him. <laughs> oh, this isn't the log cabin trader. Never mind. Okay. Um, that's kind of a bummer. But thought, thought we would have two uh, loot crates. Okay. Well, we got a working chem bench here. That's useful. We've got. Oh wow! Nice find. Nice find. I think we have. I think we already have a couple chainsaws back at the base. But okay, this doesn't work. But it does have. Some concrete in it. What about this? Okay, that works too. So I have a working Kim bench and a working forge here. Oh, look at this vending machine. Hey man, you don't have any food? What the hell? <laughs> okay, well, it'll reset. It'll reset. Anything else we can loot here? I don't think so. The good thing about this trader, though is that you can really easily, you know, kill zombies through the walls. So if we get, like, you know, a running horde come and rush us, we can take them out. So this isn't a bad trader. Let us oh, man, nothing in the bookcase. All right, buddy. So good to see you, Trader Joel. Been looking for you for a very long time. Um, do you have any jobs? All right, let's see. Let's go ahead and if we do the buried supplies, we'll, we'll get some food. The fetch and clear, you know, clears though are going to give us more, um, more XP and possibly better stuff. I don't know. So what should we do first? Uh, let's just do the buried supplies I'm first to start off. I look forward to oh, seeing do I have again. a shovel? Yeah, I've got a shovel. All right. So where's this at? Yeah, you know what? I'm afraid most of his quests are probably going to be um, out in the wasteland, unfortunately, but whatever. It is what it is. Let's actually look at his inventory, too. So what do you got in his secret stash? Ranger's Guide to Archery, Rifle Parts, Bicycle, Wood Splitter. Da, 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 da. Okay. What do you got for mods? Do we have a mod on our, our thing? Oh, we got the large tank on there. Okay. Doesn't have any first aid, but we could definitely use some first aid. Uh, I don't see any normal 7.62. He's got some 9s. But um, we we have we have more 9s back at the at our stash, so we're pretty good shape for that. So let's see. What else? What else? What else? All right, well, I don't think he has really has anything we need. We could get these for, for the agility boost, which would help with our pistol. Come back tomorrow. We get new goods daily. Got 4,000 coin. Um, I don't think I want to do that because, you know, we're going to start doing a lot more looting now, and we're bound to come across. What I would really like is lucky looters and nerdy glasses. Those are my two favorites. <sighs> Come here, you bastard. It's kind of hard to hit him through here. There we go. We hit him that time. Got him. Okay, well, um, yeah, let's go. Let's go to that buried treasure.
So it's going to be off in the wasteland. It's all right, though. I mean, what the hell, right? <laughs> We've been in the wasteland for so long. It ain't no thing. Except for buzzards. Back in the wasteland. The thing is, though, is there's... Well... Yeah, I guess there are some POIs around here, but I'm hoping that because, you know, most of the POIs are clustered in the town there, that when we do clears and all that sort of thing, that we, we can stay in the town. There's a dog over there. So we've got uh, Lucky Looter up to uh, level four, which means this treasure is going to be really narrowed down. Make should be pretty easy to find. Okay, it's just going to be hey hey hey, Astrid. Anyone? Anyone else? Okay. Wait. Where are you? What? What the hell? How come it's not uh, doing the flashing red thing like it usually does? Somebody did tell me once in the comments, uh, way back when I first started uh, playing in the wasteland, that the treasures could be bugged. I wonder if we're encountering that here. I mean, we did a couple of, um, you know, just normal buried treasures, not the quest ones. And those, are, those seem to be okay. There it is right there. That's weird, man. See how it's... Usually, you know, it flashes red, right? Okay, well, whatever. Let's grab it. All right. See you, suckers. Yeah, so what we're going to do is we're just going to fast track these quests. Um... When we get into th to three, and tiers three and four are my favorite quests, uh, or favorite level rather for quests, and th and probably even three in particular, just because three has the most variety of POIs to do. I don't mind. I like doing fours, but four is kind of limited as to what you can actually, you know, do. And two's pretty good too. So we're just gonna zip right on through, you know, tier one as quick as possible. And I'm mostly gonna focus on the you know the the fetch and the clear and fetch and clear quest because those like i said those typically give you the most uh whoa i i usually have my uh my pistol in that slot and i have my thing where's he going all right whatever Is that buzzard still on me? <laughs> I, I knocked him pretty good in the head with the... I'm just throwing that out right now. Actually, I probably should have hung on to that for a seaman, but that's okay. You did it. All right. Oh, good. I want these. I will take those. And what do we get? We get uh, 560 coins and 2,500 XP. All right. Next job. Um, you don't have a fetch and a clear, so let's just do, doesn't really matter. Uh, let's just do this clear because it's the one that's the closest to the Northwest. Do me a favor. Survivor site. I can't thank you enough, friend. All right, where the hell is this at? It's going to be in the frickin' set to the Northwest. Oh my God, way out in the wasteland. Huh. Uh, you know what? Well, 
See, the thing is, is everything else he had was even further away. I wish the quest system would, you know, would make these quests closer to the trader. And not so damn far away. Well, whatever. It is what it is. If we're gonna be do doing if we're gonna be doing quests from this trader, that's what we're gonna have to deal with, so. Shut up! Okay, where's our buzzard friend? Is he still around? Okay. Well, um, let's go further back, further out into the wasteland, eh? Survivor site. I think I know what this is. It's like a camp. We have to deal with. Get those birds' nests. We're like professional uh, wasteland operatives here. Oh shit, we're gonna go this way though. That's quite the, uh, the little ravine thingamadoodle there. We have no problem going out into the wasteland. We've done it a million times now. There's a buzzard over that way. Let's see if we can stick to the roads as much as possible. We still have tons and tons of cars that we can loot. I think I got uh, salvage operations to level 4 too. I'd have to look. Yeah. I'll bet you it's that little kind of flat area right up in front of us there. Excuse me. At least the road's leading mostly to it. That's good. I might take, um, well, no, I don't think I will. I was going to say I might take, um, whatchamacallit, Darien Adventurer uh, for extra rewards, because usually the third reward he offers is ammo. But I mean, you know, once we get, shit, once we get set up, we can make our own ammo. Jeez, that's way up on the on the hill. I was thinking it was like this area right here. All right, well, let's go keep following the road, I guess. Hello, Fido. I hope this road wraps around to the left. If it doesn't, we're going mountain biking. Yeah, it does good. Well, sorta. <laughs> Man, that sucks. I, I guess it didn't really occur to me that the quest would send us back out of the wasteland. I mean, I figured it probably would happen, but I have a feeling like almost all of them are going to be in the wasteland. Which really sucks. Here, let's go this way. This mini bike can climb just about damn near any hill. It takes a long time to do it, but it can do it. Oh, that's one of those freaking like crevasse things, isn't it? Oh man, we don't want to fall down there. No siree. Okay, let's take a look and see where we're at. Oh, jeez. Okay, we're gonna have to go around it this way. <sighs> Nothing's ever easy, eh? We could go around, probably get around up that way. Nah, let's go. Let's go back this way. We're gonna have to get up that steep hill. But we can do that.
We got this. <laughs> yeah, like I said, man, this mini bike will climb just about anything. It's just, you gotta be patient. It's not gonna happen really quick. Hey, we got a buzzard in stasis over there. Hopefully he stays that way right when we get to the top. Ah, shit, you son of a bastard. Almost got a freebie. Guess that's close enough to a freebie, right? All right, let's uh, skirt around the crevasse here. Nasty, nasty cracks in the ground, man. You know, that's an option for... Um, uh, that's an option for... What, what am I trying to say? Uh, for nitrogen. And, you know, I could have I turned those off. They do make things kind of interesting, though, I have to say. But I am definitely going to fast track the motorcycle as soon as possible. Because it's just going to, you know, it's going to get us around a little bit better. Not to mention the fact that it's got, uh, you know, more storage space. That son of a bitch infected us. We left all of our stuff back at the thing too, huh? Ah, oh, gosh, dang it! I can't believe it. All right, well, let's uh, let's just get done what we need to do. Holy crap! <laughs> That's way down there. Let's get done what we need to do and get back. Oh, oh, oh! Good lord, that was steep. Whew. Okay. Um, there's probably landmines here too, huh? Is there? Is there landmines? Yeah, there's landmines. Wow. Okay. Um, this is a tier one. I figured this would be a tier two. This is the right place, right? Here, let's uh, let's go here and make this the active quest. Yeah, it's that's just the the way you start it. Oh no 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 no! This is okay. It's not this place. It's this place over here. I, I was gonna say, man, that seems like that's a little intense for a tier one quest. It's this place. Okay, this is a little more manageable for us right at the moment. I mean, not that we could manage a tier two even right now, but I'm starting to run a little bit low on ammo. Okay, yeah, I've done this one before. Let's uh, let's double loot it. So we're gonna have to kill some dogs, a couple of Zikaruskis. Man, are you feral? You are feral. <laughs> no wonder. No wonder it was so hard to kill her. Okay. Destroyed chemistry station. There's probably a dog behind here. Um, you know what? Let's uh, here. Let's take this. And then we'll take that. Then we'll take that. And then we'll take that. I don't know if I'm going to keep doing zombie tea. I mean, you know, it saves my stacks, but... Oh, shit. But you don't get, um... You don't get... As much hydration from it is the problem. Whoops. Get... Get up. Look at that. Can we shoot through there? <laughs> the answer is yes, we can. Okay. There's some soup. 
soup de uh let's let's actually eat this and let's eat this We'll take that. Here we go. Here's the good stuff. All right. Steel boots. Yeah. Uh, no. What we have on is better, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, here. That's all decent stuff for, for selling, if nothing else. So we'll take it for that reason. Okay. Let's break this open. I'll take that. Don't want that. We might as well harvest Fido here. Now that we're home-ish. I always have I always have a hard time finding my machete. Alright. Let's avoid that in case it is in fact a landmine. There's another... Yeah, you know what? I guess I'll take those. Why not? Have some duct tape. Always good. We are packed to the max. I'm going to look at something here real quick. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. So these, uh... These will definitely give us more armor, but... Uh, these have all the other effects, like the stamina regen and the running. So I think we're going to keep, keep using the, the sneakers for now. Grab that wood. Uh, we'll grab that. Don't care about this. I'm not going to grab the stump because you don't really get very much for that. Um... Let's ditch this, I guess. Okay. Let's unload, and then we're going to do it all over again. What's this do? Oh, that gives us 20% bartering. Okay. We'll keep that. We'll hang on to this in case uh, the trader ends up having something, you know, really valuable that we want later. Uh, let's put that in there. Put that in there. The oil in there. we we'll put the money in there for now. And the cans. We'll keep the feathers. Let's put the jars in the hide. Or leather. Been playing a lot of Ark Survival Evolved, so it's called hide <laughs> on Ark. That's why I was saying that. All right, that should be good. All right, let's do this again. We'll use the same basic tactic here. Oh, I should have looted the cars too, huh? Uh, you know, I don't want either one of those things. Say goodnight, Gracie. We'll pull the wood out of that. Uh, oh, what the hell? I'll take the lead for now. Might not keep it, but we'll take it for now. That dog back over there again? Whoops. Whatever it takes, man. Whatever it takes. Okay. Make sure. Whoops. Reload.
All good. Okay. There's a fair amount of concrete and cobble here. I might actually harvest some of that up before we leave. Uh, do we need cans for anything? I don't know. I mean, there's no oil shale on the map, so it's not like we can make motor oil. There's a Zika right there. One right there. Okay. How in the hell? She must be feral. Yep, she was. Can't believe that other one didn't wake up. What in the world? You are one sound sleeper, zombie. That was a... What do you call it? A double end tendra? She's a sleeper zombie and she's a sound sleeper zombie. Okay. Come on, give us something good. Oh, that's something good. Damn, son. But is it better than our green? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Oh, nice find. That's gonna, um... No, wait a minute. It's not. That's only 44 damage. This is 55. What the hell? <laughs> oh, that's kind of disappointing when that happens. But I guess on the bright side, we can make some pretty decent bank by selling the purple, and we'll just keep the green. That's a lot more damage, though, and this isn't even, this isn't even modified. The one advantage this would give us, though, is we've got uh, four mod slots. This only has two. But man, that's a that's a huge difference in damage. I don't know. I'll have to think about that. Oh, we got BDU bottoms and steel gloves. That's just shit we'll sell. Um Yeah, those steel gloves are a nice upgrade. 15. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so let's um take the mods off of here. And we'll put them on here. Okay, yep, that was a nice upgrade. Those we can sell. And then, uh, what are we wearing for pantalones? Oh, we already have steel leg armor. So, we might we might hang on to a military set, though, when we go stealthy stealth later. It still is my plan to do that. Okay, that was pretty good loot overall. I mean, it kind of sucks the crossbow's not better than the green one, but, like I said, on the other hand, uh, we can make some decent money off of it or we can decide to keep it anyway um and you know modify it with uh you know four mod slots uh we will take this don't care about the die okay let's just check back here 48 gunpowder's not bad. I'll take that. Alright, no Zika Ruski's back there. Nothing in there. We already looked in that thing, right? There was uh, one... Oh, there's... There's a backpack here. Got a wada. Got a wada. Got a wada. Oh, here's another backpack. Uh, nah. We're just going to scrap that. <clears throat> All right. Well, guys, we are out of time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend a little bit of time. Here, we'll take all that. Um, I'm probably going to go ahead and harvest all of the concrete and the cobblestone here. And maybe wrench the cars, or at least make sure all the cars have been looted before I take off. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back home to our lovely green biome. And I'm going to 
Uh, well, I'll turn this in and take the next quest. And then I'm going to decide um, where what, what to do about a base. That's going to be the next highest priority. Uh, by the way, what is... Yeah, today's 30, day 35. It's 1.30, 1.40 in the afternoon. We got a horde, too. But I'll tell you what. For the horde, I'm just going to find a stout POI somewhere. Um, maybe not even in the green bio, maybe in the in the wasteland. Um, and just hunker down for the night. And I don't think I'm going to show that on camera because I'm not planning on putting up a defense or anything. I'm just simply going to AFK, you know, somewhere as safe as possible until, you know, and just wait the horde night out. And then I'll probably going to, I'll probably spend some, you know, some time off camera, uh, getting going on a base and, you know, working on trader quests and that sort of thing. I, I will do, you know, I will do some of the trader quests, especially when we start getting up into tier two and two th and, and three, uh, especially three, I will do some of those on camera, but I'm not going to do them all on camera. Uh, so I can, you know, get, you know, worked up to tiers three, tier four with a trader, that sort of thing. Um, get XP and really be gunning for a motorcycle. I'm going to fast track a motorcycle. So all that to say, I'm not entirely sure how much I will do off camera, but at some point, I will bring you back with an update on my progress and let you know what's going on with our ultimate goal, of course, uh, to get geared up so that we can get back out into uh, or get out to the mega city and start uh, looting the big skyscrapers and all the buildings there. Okay, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll see you in the next episode. Stay safe. Bye-bye.